go ahead and talk about how practice has been going so far. How have you seen the team progress from the first official day to where we are today with the inner squad? Uh, I feel like today was a pretty good day um, from the summer, like knowing like all of the things like that coach was um, trying to get us to apply at practice. I feel like in the summer, a lot of the guys was trying to get it, learn it. But I feel like now we got a lot of it down pat and it's still, uh, obviously it's still more we can work on, but I feel like as of today, uh, most of the guys really getting it. One of the older guys in the roster, you've been with Coach Schertz for, what is it, four or five years now? Mm -hmm. How have you seen him kind of develop his coaching philosophy to work with this group this year? Uh, really, he's a guy, like, he really sticks to what to what he know. I mean, like, from, from when I met him, it was really a, bit, a lot of film, like, film and study in the game of basketball, because it's really a lot of ways you play basketball, but, like, with his style, it's, it's a unique style. It's, like, such an NBA style. And I feel like being with him for such long, like, the way he apply, implies guys and like gets them to learn it real fast, I feel like there's no other coach that can do something like that. Third year here at Indiana State, mm -hmm. uh, walk me through what your first year was like just being here with the team, oh, uh, yeah. where it is now, and uh, how you've just kind of gotten comfortable being here with the team. Yeah, I would say my first year was a little, it was a little rough, a little different, honestly, because coming from where we was at, I mean, we was used to winning, and like we knew D1 was going to be a lot different, a lot stronger, a lot physical, a lot faster. Um, but with Coach Shirts, like his style is, I just feel like it's, it's such a unique style. So like the second year, y'all like the progress was made. Like we won games. Like a lot of the guys was getting getting used to the system, adjusting. And then third year, I feel like the sky's the limit for for this group of guys. I feel like we can make a lot of noise this year in the valley. I've seen uh, just with practice I observed last year, this mm -hmm. year. Definitely taking a more vocal presence mm -hmm. out on the court. Have you felt uh, being one of the old guys, seeing how the transitions from yeah. the 16 years last year to this year? Yeah. Have you seen kind of your role expand in that capacity? Yeah, I would say um, a lot since, like I said, I've been with it forever, so it's, I'm a lot more vocal this year because I mean I know a lot of the stuff ins and out. So, so like if some of the young guys don't like know what's going on, and coach doesn't explain it the right way, like for them guys to understand, like I can be that player and give it to him in a different way, like that's more understanding, I say. Uh, less than a month away from tip off at Holman Center. Yes, sir. We're most looking forward to being back in there, seeing the crowd, just seeing that momentum carry over from last year to this year. Uh, I would just say like, looking for the fans, man, the community to come out, support the guys. Um, because I just, I feel like this year could be something special. So I mean, with the community behind yeah, us, anything is, anything is possible.